two pairs of Heart and Mind BBC Human Races will be releasing on the 20th for $250. And today, we are going to be going over some tips for copying these. To be specific, in this video, we are going to be discussing some first come first serve online stores releasing these along with the times and prices, of course. Then also some potential errors that you may experience on adidas.com and had to get out of these errors. And we actually aren't going to be talking about raffles in this video, and I'll mention why a little later. And finally, we are going to be mentioning some updated resale predictions. All right, so before I start, I actually do want to discuss something, and that is regarding the Off-White 97 drop. So as you guys know, if you've been following my Twitter, you guys know that a lot of stuff has changed. Nike decided to do a switcheroo for the black pair and the Menta pair. We were supposed to have the Menta pair load up, but instead the black pair loaded up. So if you have seen the How to Cop guide for those, basically the info stays the same. Just imagine that the two shoes switched places for US. A lot of people were saying that the Mentas are EU exclusive, which is wrong right off the bat because they already loaded up in Canada and also Japan as I showed in my head of cop guide. So I still am expecting a shock drop for these, whether it's next week from now or potentially tomorrow. And I probably will be uploading this on the 18th, the day of the release. So you might be wondering how I did considering I'm recording this the day before. I don't know how I did. I will be using six accounts because I will be at school. So with only six accounts, I'm really not feeling too confident, especially because it's a draw but I don't know who knows maybe, maybe I'll get lucky guys but anyway let's kick it off with the BBC exclusive pair so we have some really great news for these. So as I was mentioning in my head of cop guide, since these are indeed BBC exclusive, you can only get them through BBC and BBC will release these through the Frenzy app. Now the good news is that I initially told you guys that only US would be receiving these, but the good news is that EU viewers, you guys are gonna be able to cop these too and also all my Japanese viewers, you guys are going to be able to cop as well. Now although US time is set for 12 p.m. Eastern, I'm not sure what Europe and Japan time will be. I'll keep you guys updated through my Twitter though, of course. It's very possible that they will indeed release at the same time, although I think this is rather unlikely. And also regarding Canada, I do think Canada will still be getting these, although it wasn't mentioned, simply because US is usually included with Canada drops, but considering they didn't mention it, I guess it's not confirmed yet, and we'll just have to see until the map comes up. And in addition to the BBC exclusive pair, the general release pair will also be releasing through here and they will be releasing at the same exact time most likely. So you'll have to make your decision. I would say take your chances on the BBC exclusive pair just because you're gonna be able to cop the general release pair off of adidas.com if you use a lot of Chrome users. Now, normally after this, I would jump right into the first come first serve store list with all the times. And this goes for the same reason with the raffles. I'm not gonna be starting with them just because those prices are slightly higher just because a lot of those stores do charge in euros and because the retail is 250 it's a 1.15 ratio so it does make a significant difference so for that reason I would avoid those stores for resale purposes and only stick to them if you want to go for a personal pair and if you're okay with paying 287 US dollars plus tax that's why I'm starting with adidas.com because for US it's only gonna be $250 and of course if you're in Europe then it will stay at 250 euros no matter what so anyway Jumping into adidas.com. Adidas.com recently just changed to a waiting room from a first come first serve. I taught you guys how to do this in my how to cop guide. I wasn't expecting it to change this early on, but you know, they did. I put it up on my Twitter. True just means that it is going to be a waiting room now, which means we can use the multiple people jig guys. And I wanna make it very clear that although these don't have a lot of resale value, don't underestimate these because if you definitely want a personal pair or if you plan on going for some of the sizes, which will mention later that will go for a lot, I would definitely make a ton of Chrome users just because human races tend to be very limited. Anyway, the first potential error you may experience would include, unfortunately, we are unable to give you access to our site at this time. A security issue was identified. All right, this one's not too bad. You could get out of this rather easily. It takes about 45 seconds, but here you go. Here's a step-by-step -step process on how to get out of it. First of all, go click on your history. After that, click on show full history and you guys should make sure you're using Google Chrome since we're using the multiple people jig you should already be here then after that click on clear browsing data then select cookies and other site data the other two boxes are optional you could try those if you want but it's really not necessary then you want to type in or you could also just copy and paste the product page link 
for these human races into that box where the error page link would usually be. And then you just give it about a minute, sometimes two minutes, it'll just be a white screen, and then it will revert back to normal. Evidently, this isn't too difficult to get out of. It's a very simple process, and you could always come back to this video to see the step-by-step -step process. The only issue is that it's very annoying and it does happen very often when it comes to these very limited releases. And I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip right now to keep watch on every single Chrome user at the same time. I believe I mentioned this in the Had a Cop Guide as well. All you gotta do is click on the F3 button for Mac computers, that's at the top of the keyboard. It will give you a view of all the Chrome users at once. Then for Windows computers, you have to hit the Tab button and the Windows button. I believe you have to hold one and then click the other. That's just so you could keep up with everything in an organized fashion. But moving on to the next potential error. There has been an error processing your request. Please give us a moment while we work to resolve the issue. So this one is actually very easy. In fact, easier than the one I just mentioned. All you gotta do here is copy and paste the link for the product page, put it into a new tab on the same Chrome user, X out the other one, and then hit enter on the new tab. And then the same thing like the last one, you just gotta give it a minute or so, it will appear to be a white screen at first, that's just its loading process. Depending on how many Chrome users you have, it might take a little while to load. And then right after that, it will revert back to normal, just like the last error, so you're gonna be fine. And then the next few errors, unfortunately, there's no way out of these. There is one way to prevent this one, and this is the processing payment loop. Oh man, this one's absolutely the worst. Basically, you made it to the very end and you try to process the payment and it just keeps loading. It doesn't stop. Basically, all you want to make sure you do is have all your information correct. Occasionally what happens if you tend to use your parents' credit card or girlfriend's or wife's credit card, it automatically puts your name from the address on top of that card, even if it's not your card. You have to make sure it's the correct name for the card, otherwise you do get the processing payment loop. Of course, you will still get the processing payment loop if that specific size goes out of stock while you're checking out. This does occasionally happen and it's basically the same story for the adding to cart issue or the CAPTCHA issue. Also just another quick tip, make sure you're signed out of your Adidas account for each of your Chrome users. However, when you're checking out, use your email from your Adidas account or whether you have a couple of them because this will lead you to getting points for your Adidas app. But anyway, moving on to some first come first serve stores, let's jump into this and just bear in mind like I mentioned before, these are going to be in euros, so I would stick to personal pairs only for these sites. First one I wanted to mention was Trades or Triads. I might be pronouncing this incorrectly, I apologize for that, but these will be dropping at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Perhaps at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I might have did the conversion wrong on the 19th, so this would be actually before the 20th. And right now there is no product page, but I wanted to mention them first just because I have had a lot of success off of this website actually. And if any product pages for these sites that I'm mentioning that don't have product pages do happen to come up, I'll be sure to tweet them out to you guys. Also for all of these first come first serve stores, the biggest tip would be, of course, to make sure autofill's already set up. And for all of these other releases, it would help to set up a personal account in case they make you sign in. Then also fill in your address and your payment info on those accounts if they allow you to do so. Moving on, we have Suede Store releasing these at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, a day before on the 19th. And if it's not 7, check again at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. But basically, it's going to be within the vicinity of either 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. or possibly 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Moving on, Soto will be releasing these again another store at 6 p.m. Eastern time and then Soulbox will actually have their queue. Queue will come up a little bit before 3 a.m. Eastern time so you can use the multiple people jig here but they do track your IP address on these types of queues so after 30 to 40 minutes you might get IP banned but it's okay because by then you'll probably have already taken your W. Again though, they charge in euros, keep that in mind. Moving on to 4 a.m. Eastern Time on the 20th. Nowhere, you could actually just check under the coming soon section. And if you actually take L's anywhere and everywhere, the last resort you'll actually have is on the 21st at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. This will be on the HBX app, so feel free to download this. Say you've taken L's on the 19th, the 20th, you're out of options, feel free to check it out here. And then also Hanen Shop will be releasing these on the 19th, again, another store at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. For Hanen Shop, you should just go to the new section and filter by footwear. Moving on, BSTN will be on the 19th, another store at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Another one for that same exact time, we have Cali Roots. But basically, that's it for all the first come, first serve stores. There's a couple more that I saw on Instagram, but they don't have product pages either, and I'm also not familiar with them, so I didn't really feel a need to mention them just because they're releasing at the same times, apparently, as these other stores. Being a manual user, you can only focus on so many, so I just decided to only give you guys the best sites I could give you.
But now moving on to the updated resale predictions. I think it's quite obvious for all of you that the BBC exclusive or just the pink and purple pair is going to be profitable in every single size. So definitely don't sleep on those on Frenzy app, go for them. But now regarding the GR pair, it's quite a different story. I would personally now avoid all of the common sizes. Before I said you might be able to make a couple of bucks off of them, but now honestly, just stay away from them unless you want a personal pair. I would personally stick to sizes six and a half and lower or 14 and up. And even there, the profit's not going to be anything too special. Perhaps you'll make around 20 to $50 per pair. And I am including taxes because I know some states do tend to tax. Now, if you're charged in euros, it might be a different story, but StockX actually does allow you to sell in euros, so it might be a different story for you guys as well. Anyway, overall, you should expect the profit to be similar to what we would see with the Holy Festival pairs. So honestly, nothing significant, but with those sizes, like six and a half and lower, 14 and up, you could still make some money, and honestly, I think it's worth going for them. Of course, it's also not a bad looking pair, so if you want a personal pair, Go for that too. With that though, I am going to conclude today's video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video or if you perhaps learned a thing or two. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay 100% updated on really any hype shoe that I'm going to be talking about in the future. With that though, have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Good luck, of course. That start, that started all the um the whole song. Why, why King is taking all the credit? Oh, by the way, take one.